Thank you for reaching out to Hot Tubs Incorporated. We are so excited to be working with you. Let's start off with the basics. Where do you want us to install the hot tub? Look, I don't care where you install it. Please, I just need a place to relax. I've been stuck in this house with these kids for over a year. We'll just look at the plans you gave us. We added a graph to make your land plot easier to read. I want the biggest one you've got right in the middle of my gazebo. Totally off limits to the kids. If my gazebo is triangular and my hot tub is circular, how big can I make it? So, first we will look where the gazebo is in your yard and what formulas we will use to get the area. The area is the amount of space occupied by the hot tub. On our graph, the gazebo has points at A04, B16, and C25. Your hot tub is in as much in the center as it can be. Terms to know. The terms you need to know to solve this problem is the square of a number and the square root of a number. The square of a number is just that number multiplied by itself. For example, the square of 2 is 4 because 2 times 2 is 4. The next thing you need to know is the square root. The square root of a number is the number that can be multiplied by itself or squared to get your starting number. For example, the square root of 36 would be 6 because 6 times 6 equals 36. Okay, let's begin. First, we will talk about the formulas we will use to solve for the area of your hot tub. The first formula that we will be using is called the distance formula. The distance formula can be used to find the distance between any two points on a graph. This is the square root of the x value 2 minus x value 1 squared plus y value 2 minus y value 1 squared. The next formula that we will be using is the area of a triangle. This is 1 half base times height, which means that we are multiplying how wide the triangle is times how tall the triangle is and then dividing it by 2. The third formula we will be using is the area of a circle. This formula is pi times the radius squared. Pi is an irrational number, meaning it goes on forever. We will be using the digits 3.14159. The radius is the length of the center of the circle to any edge. Our final equation is the area divided by perimeter equals the radius divided by 2. To get this equation, we need to divide the triangle into three separate equal parts. As you can see, the height of each triangle is the radius of your hot tub. If we want to find the area of the entire triangle, we need to use the equation area equals 1 half base times height three times. Since the radius is the height, the entire equation would be area equals 1 half radius times this base, plus 1 half radius times this base, plus 1 half radius times this base. If we simplify this equation, we get 1 half radius times base 1 plus base 2 plus base 3. This right here is the perimeter of our triangle. So this equation is area equals 1 half radius times perimeter. To make things easier, we also have to divide by p on each side to get the area divided by perimeter equals the radius divided by 2. To find the area in perimeter of the triangle, we need to know the length of all sides and the height. To do this, we will add another point onto the graph and use the distance formula. The extra point we will add will be right in the middle of point B and C, and will be used to find the height. The average of 1 and 2 is 1.5, so that is our x value. The average of 5 and 6 is 5.5, so that is our y value. So our new point, point D, is 1.5 and 5.5. Now, we need to use the distance formula to find the side lengths and height of the triangle. First, side AB, point A, is 0, 4, and point B is 1, 6. When you plug the values into the equation, you get the distance of AB equals the square root of 1 minus 0 squared plus 6 minus 4 squared. After simplifying, you get the distance of line AC is the square root of 5. We will now do this with lines AB, BC, and AD. Since this is an isosceles triangle, the lines AC and AB will be the same. Now with our found values, we will find the area of the triangle. When plugging our values into the equation, we get 1 half times the square root of 2 times the square root of 4.5. After typing this into a calculator, you get the area equals 1.5 units. We also know that the perimeter of the triangle is the square root of 5 plus the square root of 5 plus the square root of 2. When plugging the known area and perimeter of our triangle into this equation, we get 1.5 divided by the square root of 5 plus the square root of 5 plus the square root of 2 equals the radius divided by 2. After simplifying the perimeter, we get about 5.8863495. So our equation is now 1.5 divided by 5.8863495 equals the radius divided by 2. After simplifying this by dividing and then multiplying by 2 on both sides, we know the value of the radius is about 0 0.5096538. When we plug this into our area of a circle equation, solve and round to the nearest hundredth, our answer is 0 0.82. So the area of your hot tub is 82 hundredths units. All right, did you get all of that, ma'am? Can you hear us? Oh, no! oh, no! Whose brain snack is this? Oh, no! I'm sorry, what? You've been on mute this whole time. <laughs>